Hi there, we're Derek and Jonathan. This week, we're exploring Indiana Dunes National Park. This park isn't the most well known, but it has a little bit of everything. Beaches, dunes, and history. This stretch of the Lake Michigan shoreline was almost industrialized by steel manufacturers, but its National Park designation preserved this sliver of the coastline. But before we could actually enjoy the park, we had quite the adventure getting there. The RV broke. We stopped at a rest area halfway between Mammoth Cave and Chicago. You notice that the rig was kind of leaning to the right a little bit, which you can kind of see behind me. Yeah, see? I was leaning to the right. See this dangling piece here? It's not supposed to be dangling. It's supposed to be like that other side there, connected. You know what, let me get around to the other side. Three, two, one. As you can see, it's not connected. It's broken. Lucas, do you know what to do to fix the RV? How do we, how do we fix it? Okay. Just like that, we got a new leaf spring. Thank you to Mobile RV Repairman here in Thorntown, Indiana. What was his name? Jack. Jack, Mobile Repairman. We'll leave his number in the description or below. Came out on a Sunday, we called him this morning. He was here by 2.30 with the part and installed it in under an hour. With the rig repaired, we finally made it to Chicago, where we spent a few days and found the only place to camp in the entire city. So if you want to spend some time in Chicago while you're RVing, there's really only one option to stay downtown. Yes, every other RV park is probably between 45 minutes to an hour outside of Chicago. And so this truck marshalling lot by McCormick Place is the only place to really park your RV. Not many here right now. There's one right here and us. We've been here for a week, so yeah. it is a truck yard. There have been some vans in and out. It's not fancy. It is not fancy. If you're all about fancy life and fancy camping, this, this ain't is it. not for you. It is 100% boondocking, so we were here for the whole week. We had, you know, the water, the solar for it. It's been beautiful. We're maybe 10 minutes from downtown. If like that. A, if that. If that. It took us five minutes to get to the gas We've station. We've taken Ubers from here. We've taken the subway from here. It's incredibly convenient. If you have bikes, that's great. Oh, you could just we bike from bikes, here. Yeah. We don't have bikes. You can access the lakefront if you wanted to. Just walk down that way. You can go over or under. But city's over there in the distance. Yeah. You can kind of see it. There's the Batman Tower. This is what calls it. It is the Batman Tower. It's not. <laughs> Finally, we made it to Indiana Dunes National Park. It's kind of a hidden gem right here on the southern tip of Lake Michigan. But it's not your typical national park. That was not very national parky. <laughs> it's surrounded by factories and steel mills visible off in the distance. It's a constant reminder that without protection, this place probably would have been swallowed up by industry too. Oh, and fun fact, this area is known as the birthplace of ecology. Scientists came here to study the unique mix of ecosystems, and their work actually helped shape modern environmental science. So even though it's not the prettiest park, there's a lot of history and significance here. So we've got a slight issue. This little bird here keeps building a nest on our back tire. And we keep moving it, but it just keeps making it again. I don't know. We're going to try to put some gloves on, move it into this tree or something. But this little guy, this little guy right here. We set up a hidden camera so we could keep an eye on our new little friend. Well, today we're doing the three dune challenge which is apparently a thing you do here, where you climb the three tallest dunes, which are actually in the state park. Jackson, Holden, Tom, those three guys. All in one loop. It's not exactly difficult. It's only 1.5 miles with, I think, like 500 feet elevation gain. Yeah. It's a thing they make a big deal about here. We're so gonna do it. Here we are. We're starting here with the first dune. I don't know which one it is. Next. Jacks. Yeah, you're definitely just kind of climbing up in soft sand. We think we've reached the top of a dune. 
I say that because there's not much. Yeah, there's nothing up. Tired. But this took 30 seconds to climb to. Right? What can I tell you? This is a 30 second time. If they didn't make it a national park, it would be a steel mill. That's true. So these dunes here in Indiana Dunes National Park are not your typical sand dunes that you may think of. Like when white you, sands. Like white sands or Death Valley. Like when you go on Instagram, you type in sand dunes. Like this is not what you see. But these are technically sand dunes that were moved here over, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of years. Got populated by all sorts of different types of vegetation. And as it continues to move, it gets different vegetation growing on top of it. I don't know, if you're not into it, it's kind of boring. <laughs> don't come here for vistas. Don't come here for picturesque sand dunes. Come here to learn about ecology and to explore what could have been steel mills, like the rest of this area, Gary, Indiana, Chicago. It turns out we haven't reached any of the dunes. And look at that. We do have all these new flowers coming in. What are they called? Lee pine wildflowers. It smells really nice. Whew. Yeah, this is a slog here. We've officially made it to the top of Mount Jackson. The first of the three dunes. It is 176 feet above Lake Michigan. It's steepish. And there's a lot of sand here. All right, on to the next one. These dunes are not connected by ridges. You gotta go all the way down and then go all the way back up. Now we're making it to the next one. Is this not the top of another one? No, it's right there. Hmm. All right, the second summit, Mount Holden, 184 feet, even steeper, even bigger. The last one's at the top of these stairs. Here's the big reveal. Yep. Yeah. I'll take this for last. Ew. That doesn't look good. Meanwhile, back at the campground, our new friend was getting busy. Again. We got some sand in our shoes. Yeah, whenever you go to a sand sand dune, it's always the same situation. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are not as bad. Mine are water shoes, so they never do well in the site. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. It's ridiculous. That's Devil's Slide, presumably because it's shaped like a slide. And not a devil's? I don't know why the devil's part. Maybe you get sucked up in there. We did learn um, there's one mountain. They call them mountains, but they're clearly not mountains. They're sand hills. There's one sand... They're dunes. There's one sand dune slash mound. Massive sand dune. Massive sand mound called Mount Baldy on the most eastern section of the National Park. But you can only climb it on a guided tour and the reason is because there are like voids in the sand and you can get sucked in them some kid got sucked down was in there for like a day it was hours he almost died he didn't it was a long youtube right. video it's kind of unclear and vague but he didn't die it might have been a day it might have been an hour but the point is he got sucked in there like deep so you gotta be careful walking around these sand dunes you get sucked in Now we're in the Miller Beach area of the park. Douglas Miller, Miller Beach, <laughs> Paul Douglas. Some combination of those words. It's on the western side. Paul H. Douglas Center for Environmental Education. That's where we are. We are at Miller Beach. Miller Beach. Anyway, here in the parking lot, you can see these really cool examples of how the dunes form. Like right here in the parking lot. And then how the vegetation starts gathering up on them to stabilize them. Like, that's pretty cool. This beach is covered in litter. 
specifically these little like microplastic things. There's plastic everywhere in here and little bits of glass. That is not cool to see. We got these little specks of color in here with just microplastics. I'll wash up here. It's in probably Chicago. She's right there. Right? These dunes in the middle of this parking lot are crazy to me. Just when we thought we'd be ready to hit the road, our little Robin friend had other plans. She laid an egg. <laughs> We're trapped. We got the Department of Natural Resources You're telling right. us that we can't leave because <laughs> the Robin laid an egg in its nest that it's built on our tire. <laughs> And so now we're stuck here until someone from the Humane Society comes to relocate it. I'm sure they'll get like fish and wildlife or something. Yeah, so we were planning on leaving an hour, but now I'm not so sure we can. You're taking it, and then you're giving me the next one. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> do you need me to do more? Oh my god, I'm recording you. It's a video. It's a boomerang. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> As the lady behind you walks around. <laughs>